Hi everyone, we are going to do another turbine problem that's similar to the first one, uh, but has a little bit more complexity to it. So I want to make sure you've done that first one first, and then get over here and work through this, because this is one an approach that you're going to have to get good at. So let's say, pardon me, we have the same setup we had before. We have steam coming in at 8 megapascals and 500 degrees C. And then we are going to have the steam leave, instead of at 1 megapascal, we are going to have it leave at a much lower pressure. We're going to have it leave at 0 0.01 megapascal. Okay, so that is part one. So my first question to you is, one, what are exit conditions, two, what is WS, and in fact, I want to know what the maximum WS is, remember that means we're going to assume it's reversible, and I'm going to give you a new piece of terminology to help you remember we mean it's reversible. It's going to have this little apostrophe here, which tells us that that's the reversible work. So. Uh, something interesting is going to happen this time that didn't happen last time, and I'll give you a hint. What's uh, the the steam on the outlet side is not going to be a hundred percent superheated steam anymore. So uh, give this one a shot, and I'll catch up with you after you've done that because I'm going to make it more complicated after that. Okay, have you tackled that problem yet? Well, if you didn't, hit pause, tackle that problem. You should get that what's coming out is saturated steam, and you should get that it has a quality of about, I'm thinking 0.8, order of 0.8. If it's very different than that, uh, come back at me. So having gotten that, that should enable you to find your appropriate delta H. So if you haven't done that, hit pause and go do that, because you're going to need it next. What you may be wondering is that it's all very well to know what reversible work is, but reversible work doesn't actually tell us what's really going to happen in the real world because um, we're not going to run this turbine reversibly. We, it's, that would be far too slow and far too difficult to actually build. So what uh, we do to capture it irreversibly is we use something called turbine efficiency. And here's what turbine efficiency is. It's a number that is between 0 and 1 uh, that you multiply by the reversible work to get the real work. And so in this case, I want you to tell me what our work would be if we had a 75% efficient turbine. Turbine efficiency of 0.75. So go ahead and work that out, and then I'm going to hit you with the final piece of complexity. Okay? Um, the final piece of complexity, actually, we'll save that one for class on Wednesday, and that'll be how you turn all of this into a steam flow rate. So go ahead, figure out what WS real is, and then on Wednesday we will pick up with the next piece, which is getting the flow rate, and we'll roll it all together. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.